crime of violence. You have just witnessed a true reenactment of a violent, brutal crime that only recently stunned the quiet and affluent community of Montclair Hills. Tonight, you can help the authorities in capturing this psychopath because this is Crime Busters. Fact, 10.02 p.m., 29-year-old Julia Rollins returned home after dinner out with friends. Giddy from a few drinks, she failed to realize that her back door had been pried open. Fact, 10.07 p.m., Miss Rollins enters her bedroom, unaware that there's a man hiding in her closet. Watching her and waiting, she starts to undress. He attacked, and then he fled through a window into the night. He's a Caucasian male, approximately 5 foot 10 to 6 feet tall. Age, late teens, early 20s. Medium build, dark hair. One distinguishing characteristic, a small X-shaped scar in front of his left ear. Where is the Montclair Hills rapist? You tell us before he strikes again. Get it all set. I don't know. Now, look, I don't care if there is overtime. This thing airs in one hour. So let's get it together, will you? Because they're breathing down my neck on this one. Oh, hiya, hiya, kids. Hey, you did a great job. Now, don't spend it all in one place. You're right. I really appreciate this opportunity, Stan. If you ever need me again, feel free to call me. Oh, sure. Anytime, anytime. Hang in there, kid. It was a pleasure working with you. I loved you. I admire your technique. Thank you. Weird that it should be so hot for this time of year. I know. You know, I think it's because the Earth has spun off its axis and is hurtling into the sun. Uh, you know, I know this little place that makes great frozen margaritas. What do you say? I'm busy.
pay. Frozen margarita. Despiértate. Este no es un hotel. Excuse me, I, I gotta go. Este fue el que abusó de la mujer en el televisor. Agárrenlo, asesino. Come on, hey, hey. Come on, hey, hey. Come on, hey, hey. Come on, hey, hey. Tranquilícense. Él no es un violador. Él actuó como un violador en un programa de televisión. Siéntense. must be new in town. Is it that obvious? Mm -hmm. Do a lot of people get confused? Yeah. I heard about a guy who played a killer in one of these reenactment shows. He was chased by a mob to the Houston Astrodome and got the shit kicked out of him. Then why do it? It's a great exposure. An abortion after all these years of trying. God, Virginia, why? You kill their baby, you kill their baby. An abortion? Why, Virginia, after all these years of trying, why? You killed our baby. You killed our baby. You killed our baby. You don't speak English. <laughs> hey, you know at this job. Let me teach you something. These rich bitches, trouble. Don't get involved. Is there a problem, man? Thank God someone speaks English around here. Look, I've been driving around all day. Every time I hit the gas pedal, the car just doesn't pick up any speed. Oh, well, you see the fuel line here. You must have hit a bump or a pothole or something, because... I don't want any lessons in auto mechanics, please. Just fix it. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to be of service. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I shouldn't have talked to you like that. Look, I don't know anything about cars, and I get... So frustrated. I find it very hard to believe that a woman like you would be frustrated. Well, that's very sensitive for a mechanic. Well, I only work here part time. I'm an actor. Maybe you see me on TV? I never watch TV. <laughs> Charlie. Charles. Charles Bronson. Oh, I hate to be the one to break this to you, but I think there already is a Charles Bronson. I guess you'll have to change his name. place in the neighborhood makes great frozen margaritas. What are you saying? No, no, no. I, I, I gotta get home. It's 5.30. I gotta get home. Come on. Okay, let's go. Really? I gotta disappear for about an hour. Uh, yeah, you can call it that. 
Look, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I can't go. What? It's just a couple blocks. My husband is waiting for me. Well, so what if you're a little bit late? I won't tell if you won't tell. Hey, watch out. I got some grease on your blouse. Well, you know how to make a first impression. Look, wait, wait. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lee. You didn't smoke. Oh, you put me in the mood. Hey, man, you should not be walking in this neighborhood, man. What you need is a car, and I'm having a sale on this baby right here. No, thanks. Hey, come on, man. It's for my sister. She needs an eye operation. Please, man, don't let my sister go blind. $500. I'm not interested. Hey, hey it's got an AM radio, man. I'll give you 75 cash right now. $100 I'll throw on the plates? Done. Uh, what about the keys? Oh, don't worry about that, man. Just put those two little red wires together. She'll go. <laughs> Appreciate your patience.
God damn it. Lee. Lee. What? I can't believe this. What happened? Those idiots at the cable company. It was working fine. Well, that's it. That's it. I'm going to cancel this shit. This is ridiculous. I'm getting a dish. Yes? Hi. Central Cable, you called about a problem? No, I didn't call. Must have the wrong house. Wait a minute. Come in. What's going on? You got me. I just go where they send me. My name's Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Sorry to interrupt your evening, man. Well, usually we can make the repairs at the central office, but this new AC reconfiguration has burned out all the older copper plates. Right this way, Eddie. Well, how long's it been out? It just went out now. Really? Lee? Lee! Hope you don't mind, but I've got to shut this thing off for a few minutes. It won't take long. Fix me a drink, Leanne. Haven't you had enough? How about you, Eddie? You want a drink? I'd love a root beer. How about a Perrier? Plain tap water's fine, thanks. Uh, there's no damage. You got a couple other uh, TVs, right? Yeah, one in the bedroom, one in the kitchen, one in the guest room, one in the master bathroom. Okay, I got to check them out, and then I got to rewire the output outside. I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to need you to keep an eye on it and give me a holler when we're back on the feet, okay? Fine. Keep an eye on it and give fine. me a Fine, I said fine. Crazy. I'm working on it. Stop it. You can't be here. But I am. How can you just enter my house? What were you thinking? I thought you'd be happy to see me. Maybe I misread the signals you were sending me at the station today. I'll go. No, no, no. Don't go away. You've got to fix the television. Oh, is that what it is? What the hell are you doing? What do you want? This is crazy. He's going to kill him. Lee, where's my drink? about time. I have no idea what this idiot is doing. Ah, finally. Eddie! Eddie, it's back on! Okay, sir, we're all set here. I just need to double check the rest of the house. Let him in, will you, honey? I gotta get this work done. Oh, and give him a little tip. I feel sorry for the guy. I will. Then I think I'll just go up and take a shower. Show me how you turn it on. Well, you just have to push the little red button on the right. Ah, <sighs> see what I mean? And I've tried playing with the buttons on the back. Oh, keep playing with those buttons.
You're still in there? Yes, let me run out. You know, to conserve water, we should be showering together. Oh, uh, please don't come in. I've got a big surprise for you. Uh, I'm just stepping out. Well, shut the window when you take a shower. Come here, pumpkin. Give us a kiss. What makes you think I'm in the mood for this? Come on, honey, it's been months. I know we're both under a lot of stress, but... What's wrong? What's up with you? Be honest with me. Funny you should want honesty, Sanford. What are you talking about? What's the problem? What's the problem? You know what the problem is? Why don't you tell me? Why don't I have a drink? I'm expecting an important work call. Hey, you work here. Hello? Good morning. Good afternoon. Sleep well? At Sanford? He was gone. What are you wearing? Just a smile. I could be right there. No, I'm late for an appointment. What about tonight? Can you get away? My husband's got this dinner at Chez Rouget, and I'm expected to be the perfect wife. Well, when? I don't know. Be patient, OK? OK. Send in the twins. Okay. Hey, pal. Listen, can I get a little advance on next week's paycheck? I've got this important thing that's come up tonight. You understand? You're working tonight. Yeah. About that. Uh... Excuse me for a minute, please. I have to go powder my nose. Is she feeling okay? Who leaves? Something's got into her lately. I don't know.
anybody for dessert? Ah, uh, maybe we should wait for your wife. Are you sure she's feeling okay? She's been gone a long time. Well, uh, maybe I better check on her. Excuse no, me, please. don't be silly. I'll go. I have a little business to attend to myself. <laughs> Lee! Honey? You in here? Oh, hi, Betty. Lee, what's your secret? Secret? Oh, that figure of yours. What's the trick? Exercise? Get your heart rate up a couple times a week. You gotta go. Hey, just a minute. Don't I know you? No. Sanford, hurry up. They're waiting. This is very rude. Charlie, can you talk? I would have hung up if he'd answered. I just want to talk to you. Well, can we meet tomorrow? You want a drink? No, thanks. So this is what you want me to see. Charming. What's on your mind? Just want to ask you something. Yes. What do you do during the day? I work. I can make my hours flexible. What do you have in mind? Nothing right now. I just want to know what you do, that's all. I don't get it. What's the game, Charlie? It's no game. I just want to know. It doesn't matter. It does. I don't know anything about you. Where you're from? Do you have any children? What difference does that make? I want to know who you are. How you got hooked up with Sanford? Was it your first true love? No. He wasn't. Yes. Mm. Who would you like me to be? Jesus. Can't we even have a conversation? Is there a bathroom in this place? Yeah, we got running water, flush toilets, the works. I didn't mean to. Just forget it.
our famous surprise guest decided to drop in on us today. Knock it off. I'm sorry I'm late again. I'll, I'll work late tonight, OK? Ah, uh, forget it, man. I'm doing better without you. Listen, I'm having personal problems. Hey, don't look to me for help. I told you, man, I don't get involved. You fucked up. You're out. Hey, hey, wait, 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 what? What, I'm fired? Ah, uh, let's see. You don't show up. When you do show up, it's not when you're supposed to show up. Yeah, I'd say, yeah, you're fired. Have a heart. This is my only steady source of income. What's your only steady source of income? Yo, well, fuck you. Hey, you can forget about using me for a reference. Not personally, just, uh, you know, through the agency, you know. Yeah. All right. Listen, I want you to pass these around. Huh? Mesquite grilled chilies with a cilantro relish. Pass them around. Go. Hi. Freshen up. Um, he's drinking gin and tonic, and I'm drinking champagne. So this is a good promotion for you. Hey, you got a match? No. Hey. Well, you know, I really think that's sensational. I really do. Thank you. Yeah. place where we can, you know. Would you give me some brandy glasses from the kitchen? Hey. What's going on? Do we know each other? <laughs> yeah. I know something about you. I followed you today. You're a shrink, aren't you? Well, don't you know that shrinks are the craziest people? Into the kitchen. It's time. Let's go. Show me what a bad girl I've been. Be 
fucking bastard! Phone down, Lee. Oh no. Oh. How could we be so stupid? What are we gonna do? I don't know. They're gonna throw us in jail. They're gonna throw us both in jail. Quiet. I gotta think for Jesus, a minute. They're gonna think we planned this. I mean, he's a very wealthy man, Sanford. You're my lover. They're gonna think that we did this together. No one's gonna say that. Why don't we just tell them the truth, Charlie? Charlie. Who knows about us? What do you mean? Have you told anyone, anyone about our affair? No, of course not. What are you thinking? A rape was committed in this neighborhood a couple weeks ago. What are you talking about? A man broke in the back door of a woman's house a couple blocks from here. He hid in the closet while she was undressing, and then he raped her and escaped through the window. He's still out there. I don't understand what that has to do with this. Do you have a pair of dishwashing gloves downstairs? What are you doing? You're, you're gonna, ah, hey, ah, listen! You're gonna say he was here. Who? Tonight. The Montclair Hills rapist. You're gonna say he was here. He tried to rape you. Your husband came in the middle of it, and the rapist killed him. We can pull this together. We can make this. We can duplicate his M.O. exactly. How come you know so much about all of this? I played the guy in Crime Busters. He's my height. He's my weight. He's my coloring. I know this. Like only he's got a scar, an X, in front of his left ear. His left ear? Right. He hid in the closet. He wore rubber gloves. He held the letter open uh, over your neck. While he was raping me? Right. Wrong. You gotta say it was an attempted rape. Your husband walked in before the guy entered you. If they ran a semen test, it wouldn't match the one they got off the first victim. Then they'd know it was another guy. No, not just another guy, me. I'm so confused. I don't understand. I think we're gonna get caught, and I don't understand why we don't just give it all up. No, we're not. The Montclair Hills rapist did this. Did you tell someone about us? Do you have anything that could be proof that we know each other? The check I gave you? Oh, I cashed it at the garage. It's history. There's nothing. Except one little piece of you I'm keeping with me. What? The message you left on my machine, I saved it. Erase it. We gotta get rid of that. Yeah, it's in a safe place. No, I can't just have that floating around. No, it's the only piece of you I'll have for a long time. We can't see each other, can't talk with each other, make any contact for a while. I want you to count to 100 and scream like hell. We can make this work. It's gonna work, I promise. Now start counting. One, two...
No, I'll get the semen test. We can't fuck that up again. Yeah, I'm gonna try to talk to her, but after what she's been through... And... Yeah, okay. This is good. The hair's dark like that, but it's long behind the ears. The eyes are big like that. The nose is more bulbous, and the mouth is fuller here. Sorry to have to go through all this with you right now. The closer to the incident, the more accurate your responses are liable to be. I understand. Now, tell me again, exactly where was the assailant when you entered the room? Well, like I told you, I don't remember exactly. But I think that he was in the hiding in the closet. And uh, he had uh, these gloves, these uh, dishwashing gloves. No, no don't take okay, him away. No. It's okay, man. No. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. We're going to talk some more later, okay? Huh? Just a couple more things we got to do if we're going to catch this guy. Okay? I want you to get him. Take a little time. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Picasso. Let's see what we got. It's him. Fill out unemployment forms 12 and 17 in triplicate before getting in line, please. Hey! Hey! Now, we've been waiting in this line for over an hour. What's going on? I'm sorry, we're understaffed. Well, you got 20 motherfuckers here looking for a job! What is wrong with you? Is it true that the department has no idea who's behind these crimes? Yes, but we have a few more clues now. We were able to do a semen test this time. Uh, when the lab results come back, we will have a DNA map on this guy more accurate than a fingerprint. Yes, we will nail this on him. Why'd you let him swab you, Lee? The semen test. Why did you let him do it? I did what you told me to do. I told them that it was an attempted rape. And then they examined me and they didn't believe me. I had to go along with it. Otherwise, it would have looked suspicious. Charlie, they caught me lying. I broke down. I told them that I was raped, that I didn't remember, that I was in shock, that I was ashamed. And they believed me. But your sample doesn't match the one from the first rape. They're going to know it's not the same guy. No, listen to me. I overheard the detective saying something about uh, the lab screwing up on the first sample. Great. There won't be a mismatch because they only have my sample. I did the best I could, Charlie. I know, I know. It's very hard for me. I can't call you. I can't talk to you. I, when we're standing in the store, I can't kiss you or hold you or touch you. Shh. People watch. Look, we'll wait a few weeks. And then you and me will go away.
I can't answer the phone right now, but please leave a message. Can I help you? Yes, I'm here to see Dr. Adams. Is she expecting you? Not exactly. Well, Dr. Adams is with a patient at the moment. Yeah, but I need to speak to her now. It's urgent. Well, I'm afraid I'm not allowed to interrupt her when she's in a session. Would you like to take a seat? Listen, could you just buzz her, tell her her, uh, her, her mechanic's here to see her? Her mechanic? I see. Why don't you take one of our new patient forms and fill it out and have a seat and Dr. Stop it. Even when I was away, I still saw him. Make him go away. He's gone. He's gone. It's just us now. I'm gonna hold on to the memory. I go back there now. You're eight years old. What do you see? What do you feel? What do you hear? What do you want to tell him? It's safe here. He's far, far away. What do you want to say? No. What is I supposed to say? What is he doing to you? told me not to tell you. He's gone. What is he doing to you? He's hurting me. And what do you want to say to him? Stop. Stop what? Stop, stop what? Stop hurting me! You're hurting me! Will you stop hurting me? Stop! 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 It's okay. You can forgive me. I'm so ashamed. You can forgive me. What the hell are you doing here? Lee, we've got to talk. Have you completely lost your mind? This is my office. Someone knows about us. Well, that's impossible. You've got to get out of here. I've got someone coming any second. Someone followed me yesterday, and I think he wanted to kill me. You're being paranoid. No one's following you. I was in the car, and he chased me down the street. Well, are you sure? What happened? I lost him. But when I got home, there was a message on my machine. Somebody called me the rapist. Well, who was it? I didn't call him back. Well, it can't be the police. They don't have a clue as to what's going on. Lee, what the hell was Samford doing at the house that night? Why are you talking to me like that? I told you his plane was delayed. Charlie, what do you want from me? You've got to get out of here. I've got someone coming any second. We'll figure this out. There must be some logical explanation. Maybe you're having paranoid delusions. Maybe you're having a, a little separation anxiety. Don't analyze me! You're a few minutes early, but that's all right. Come in. Thank you so much for stopping by. You really shouldn't have. Don't mention it. Sit down.
Now is the time to fly, Richfield, because First Nation Air is offering its lowest prices of the year. Four non-stops daily to New York, three to Chicago, three to Los Angeles, and we've just added a second non-stop to Detroit. So see your travel agent or call 970-1000. Are you the only airline that flies locally nonstop to Detroit? Yes, two flights daily. Did you have any flights that were canceled or delayed last week? Not a one. You didn't have a 4.30 flight that was delayed just last week? Sir, the flights we have leave at 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. We don't have a 4.30 flight. Listen, rapist, I hope you didn't skip town. We must talk. This is important. It's Stan at Crime Busters. You know the number? Call me. Crime Busters. Stan, it's Charlie. <laughs> this isn't Charlie. This is the Montclair Hills Rapist, right? All right. What do you want? Listen, you didn't go and join the union, did you? No. OK, I want you to come back on the show. What? Hey, what do you got, your head in the hole? Listen, remember that degenerate you played last time? Well, he's at it again. Only this time he killed somebody. Yeah, her husband. How do they know it's the same guy? They know. Same description, same M.O., same everything. So, congratulations. Hey, you got yourself another job. No, wait. You have to do this crime on the air? <sighs> Look, the sheriff's all over me. You know, they're so hot to catch this wacko, they've upped the reward. Besides, you should be complimented. They like what they saw the last time, and they insist that I have you back on the show. They really like my work, huh? Yeah, yeah. Bolcho, you, you look a lot like this guy. No, Stan, I can't. All right, all right, all right. Listen, I'll, I'll double the money. Yeah, I'll give you 150 bucks, OK? No, Stan, no. All right, all right, look, I'll, I'll give you two shows, OK? Wait a minute. Make that four shows guaranteed. Pay or play. <sighs> I got to go. I'm not feeling well. Hey, what's wrong? Huh, kid? Something, something's wrong. I, 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 I can smell it. No, there isn't. Well, what's the story, Charlie? I mean, what, 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 what the hell is it? What is it? It's nothing. You're right. I'll do it. Good, we tape tonight. You drive a hard bargain, but that's okay. Listen, you're gonna be famous, kid. You're gonna be a household name. You think so? I know so. Number tonight's show. Look, I don't know. Buy some silk cheese. Class it up a little, will you? Get your ass off the bed. Charlie. Charlie, you're late. What happened to you? Who's the guy after me? Oh, this neighborhood. It's getting worse than downtown Beirut. Get your ass in the makeup and wardrobe, will you? We tape in a half an hour. All right, folks. Positions, please. Hey, Charlie, it's kind of weird, huh? Like deja vu. Oh, we uh, can't forget this. You OK, kid? I'm, I'm the killer. Fucking actors. All right, places. Rotate. Five, four. Hey, you were great, kid. You were really...
really very convincing. Oh, Stan, don't. Oh, look, kid, I ain't bullshitting you. You really have improved. You were so damn real. The whole range of emotions, the lust, the, the fear. <laughs> you surprised the hell out of me, kid. Yeah, I did a lot of research. Where are you running? It's been a very stressful day, Stan. I'll have the deputy give you a ride home. Winfrey. No, no, it's okay. I've got a car. Uh, Stan? Yeah. I've been going over this copy, and everything is fine, but I didn't see any mention of the lighter anywhere. What lighter? Well, some new evidence. Dr. Adams gave us a cigarette lighter, figured it fell out of the creep's pocket. Hey, that's great. You think it'll do any good, though? I mean, lighters are so common. Not like this one. It has green greetings from Green Falls, Indiana, printed on it. You are amazing in that scene. You want to get a cup of coffee or something? You've got the wrong guy. Charlie. I want some answers, Lee. What the fuck is going on? Stop it, Charlie. You're scaring me. I think I figured what you're doing, Lee. Now, I want to know why. I don't know what you're thinking. I can't imagine what all this stress has done to you, but you're acting crazy. Maybe I should prescribe you something. I don't know what you've imagined. Look at me. Tell me I dreamt there was a rapist psychopath in my apartment tonight beating the shit out of me. Oh, my God. Knows. The real rapist knows who I am and what I've done. How does he know, Lee? You want to tell me how he knows? I don't know. How could I know? You said your husband was leaving on an afternoon flight. There is no afternoon flight, Lee. Why'd you lie to me? But that's what Sanford told me. He lied to me. Maybe he was suspicious. Maybe he knew what was going on. Lighter. Why'd you give the police my lighter? They found it. I didn't even know that you left it here. I told them that we had given a party and that probably one of the guests had left it. What's in your head, Charlie? If I wanted you to be blamed for Sanford's death, why wouldn't I just turn you in? That's what I want to know. There isn't any answer because it doesn't make sense. Charlie, why don't you believe me? I need you to say that you believe me. Please, believe me, please. No, please don't walk out on me. Charlie, I need you. Make love to me. Who do I play, Lee? What's my character? No characters, just you and me. No more games. You wanted to get past the games. I was afraid. I was afraid of, of letting you get close to me. Show me, show me how much better it is when it's just you and me.
like it. I'm a fan. I saw it. I wanted to get to know you. Let's make love. Please come here. No, no more. Take off your pants. We don't. Don't worry, Charlie. Just one last little fantasy. I promise. I suppose it's hard for me to stop completely. Please indulge me this last little fantasy. Take off your pants. Come closer. Closer. Now grab me. Is this a police? This is Lee Adams. He came back. He came back. He tried to rape me again. No. No. I got him. I killed him. He's dead. Yes. Okay. I knew something was up. I could smell it. He was pathetic, desperate, you know? Like when I offered him a job, he, he was different. Something changed. Sure, he killed somebody. Boy, I never would have guessed it. But you know, it makes perfect sense to me now. It's like those crackpots that try to shoot a president just to get on TV. Some people will do anything for fame. It's one for the textbooks, definitely. <laughs> definitely. No, it's a brick wall. Cat didn't speak any English. Sir, finally got the info from the DMV. The car was stolen, so were the plates, but from a different car. Everything about this guy stinks, huh? Yeah, well, that's not all. He had an outstanding parking ticket. Parked in the red zone in front of Dr. Adams' office. Shit. He was stalking her. Anything from the lab? 
Yeah, sperm test is back. Everything matches up. Julia Rollins' first rape victim ID'd his face, or what was left of it. Said she'd need to see that X-shaped scar to be certain, but yeah, she says that's him. All the evidence is there. The DA says it's open and shut. Then it's really all over? Montclair Hill's rapist is dead and gone, Dr. Adams. You got your life back. Time to start over. I know. Thank you. I will. Traffic was murder. Is Leslie here? In your office. I'm going to take off, okay? Have a good night. It's all behind us now. Have you got it? That's it. can't stop it. It keeps coming and coming over and over. These, these, these pictures in my mind, I can still see them. I can still feel them hurting me. He's dead now, Leslie. Sanford can't hurt you anymore. I'm still afraid. What, what if I hurt someone again? Honey, I'm going to get you help. I'm going to get you all the help you need. I will not let anyone hurt you again. Say so forgive me. Oh, I forgive you. The person I can't forgive is myself. Mom, you can't. Yes. To live with a man for 12 years and not to know what he was doing to my child, not to know how he was hurting my child, not to know the legacy he passed on to my son, and I thought he could be a good father to you. You're all I need. Well, it's just the two of us now, Leslie. It's just the two of us. <laughs>